We're here at O'Casey's Irish Pub and Restaurant on 41st between 5th and Madison. Big North London Derby today between Spurs and Arsenal. We're going to be hanging out with the Spurs supporters. Should be totally nuts. Atmosphere is going to be crazy. Let's go check it out. Oh! So basically, you guys, I, I just want to like, you know, get a feel for New York Spurs and, and how you guys connected at O'Casey's and like the identity of, of, of Spurs in New York City. The people like, damn, that's a cold ass honky. Rolling in hella deep, headed to the mezzanine, dressed in all pink, set my gator shoes, those are green, draped in a leopard mink, girl standing next to me, probably should have washed this, smells like R. Kelly sheets. I want you to be in the middle when we score. Fucking camera's getting wrecked. I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got twenty dollars in my pocket. I'm hunting, looking for a come up. This is fucking awesome. in for us, it's about what it's about what Spurs stands for, what what the people stand for, and like it doesn't. You know, even if we lose, we're gonna be pissed, but we're still gonna be here drinking. I'm here to see Tottenham beat Arsenal. Defoe comes off the bench, he gets a couple. 3-0 Tottenham. Done deal. We met at Floyd. Floyd was our spiritual home for years, and we still have a good relationship with him. We love that place. Right. But they had bocce courts there. They were like, could you move out of the way so that we can play bocce? I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> what is your problem? <laughs> You're like, this is the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Exactly what I said to her. We were one of the few places that had our own pub. Yeah. Everyone else just was going to Nevada Smiths and right. playing over tables. And we had Carl here. Hey, you fucking cunt! Who owns this place outright. He owns the entire building. Yeah. There's no neighbors. He wanted us here. Yeah. We have two floors with any Spurs through and through. Spurs through. And we can do whatever the hell we want. So, I mean, how, how important is it that you guys have OKCs to yourself? I mean, football is tribal. It's, it's not, if you come in here wearing a red shirt, you're disrespecting us. You're, you're basically asking for a problem. It's, like, it's not banter. Yeah. It's not at all. Yeah. If you're going to stand there in an Arsenal shirt and cheer an Arsenal goal, then I'm going to hit you in the face. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! I probably wouldn't hit them in the face, but I would I would motion to them and then make them leave. <laughs> When, when people talk about Tottenham Hotspur, right? Lots of times you guys refer to it as Yid Army. Yid Army! Explain that for, for people. They were a heavily Jewish side, and then our rivals decided that it was okay to refer to our, our club by pejorative slurs. Our supporters at that time decided to take back the night and say, yeah, fuck you, that, that is who we are. So, so you embraced it? Yeah, we're, we're all Yids. So you're never going to hear the club say the Y word, but no one's going to tell Spurs fans what to sing. We sing what we want! We are the Hotspur! We sing what we want! It doesn't matter what religion you come from, yeah. or what belief you have, this is the Yid Army, and that's who we are. I believe Bale's got eight, he's got eight goals in the last six games. Is he, is he the second coming of Jesus? Can it get any better? The first coming of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Good for you. We don't care what the other team say. It's what the hell do we care? But we only know that there's going to be a show and the Tottenham Hotspur will be there. This isn't the first time this has happened, right? We all love it. Everyone in there, hundreds of people today, hundreds of people. All Spurs fans. This is New York City. We're not at White Hart Lane. This is unbelievable. 